Hello and welcome to Evening Reading and Prayer. It's Tuesday, November the 24th of 2020. Come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Our prayers this evening are from Celtic Prayers from Iona. Let, let us pray. As I utter these prayers from my mouth, O God, in my soul may I feel your presence. The knee that is stiff, O healer, make pliant. The heart that is hard, make warm beneath your wing. The wound that is giving me pain, O best of healers, make whole. And may my hopes and my fears find a listening place with you. Amen. Our scripture reading is from Isaiah 40, verses 28 to 31. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His, his understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted, but those who wait for the Lord will renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Our reading this evening is from my friend and colleague, the Reverend David Burkers. I recently heard a phrase that names what a lot of us are feeling, and that phrase is COVID fatigue. Fatigue is an actual symptom of COVID-19, but this refers to what people are feeling as a result of having to follow the rules and restrictions of this pandemic. It wears on you and you can begin to resent having to wash your hands, be socially distant and wearing that darn mask. It is important to note that this is normal. We resent any imposed changes in our lives. When I was diagnosed with diabetes, I found out that I had to change my diet. I wasn't eating badly, just not, great, not a great diet for someone who is diabetic. You resent not being able to eat what you want and find yourself cheating sometimes. But we can't cheat with this virus. We have to remain vigilant. One of my fears is that I will become complacent and forget to wash my hands or keep distant from people. Our passage from Isaiah tells us that we can rely on help from God. God does not grow tired and weary as we do and can help us when we are not strong enough or are tired and weary. Take comfort in that today. If you are feeling tired and weary, experiencing COVID fatigue, take a moment to ask for help. You can also take a nap, go to bed early, or just take some time to breathe and be still. Let your mind, body, and soul be relaxed and refreshed. Amen. Let us pray. O God of the stars and the night skies, may your light be coming through thick clouds this night on me and on everyone coming through dark tears, on each one in need and in suffering. We recall the events of this day with thanksgiving for the joys, with pleas for comfort for the sorrows, with the need for healing for the hurts and brokenness we see in the world. Within our own communities, the communities of our families and friends, and throughout the world, there is pain. There is conflict. There is devastation, oppression, and injustice. We lift it all to you, O Lord, for your healing hand. Hear our silent prayers as we reflect on this day.
May the world know our prayer. Christ stands before me and peace is in his mind. Sleep, O oh sleep, in the calm of all calm. Sleep, O oh sleep, in the love of all loves. Sleep I this night in the God of all life. Amen. God before us, God behind us, God above us, God beneath us. Us on your path, O God, you, O God, on our way. In the twistings of the road, in the currents of the river, be with us by day, be with us by night. Be with us by day and by night. Amen. Good night.